Sister Kathy. little sisters and little kids will kind of come get in your way and, you know, bug the older older siblings. And Kathy never did that. She was just such a wonderful person, <laughs> even at that young, tender age. Here, here. On the other hand, the Deming brothers... <laughs> 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 now there's Ed Deming, <laughs> whom at the time, just like my older brother, was a wrestler. Whenever I went over to Steve's house and he was coming through the hallway in the other direction, you stepped out of the way and went away and let people by. And I didn't even test what would happen if one got in his way. <laughs> Marshall, his younger brother, one of the first times I think I ever wanted to kill him, we were up in the third floor of Steve's uh, bedroom, and it was a nice warm spring day, and the window was open. Now, third floor. Sitting there in his bed, all of a sudden, this big wad of mud comes flying through the open window. I mean, it, it, it takes out about half my nose, which, no comments about the size of my nose, being a perfect target, and all that kind of stuff, okay? But then it, the rest of it splattered against the other bedroom, back bedroom wall. I go running downstairs, we find Marshall crouching in the garage, I bring him out, I'm ready to kill him, just like I know his brother Ed would do if he ever did that to him. And his mom came out and sued <laughs> So, being unforgetful kind of is a good thing, but, but you know, compared to the competition. As you may guess, uh, I met uh, Lena way back at Camp Woodstock, back when we were 14, 15, 16 years old. And, um, Back when our early friendship started, we didn't have things like email uh, to show my true love at that time. I rode my bicycle from Bloomfield to Glastonbury. Walked 12 miles to uh, 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 uh. Now, Stephen, on the other hand, I met uh, later on in my high school career. Uh, as I mentioned before, both of our brothers, uh, older brothers, were wrestlers and. Somewhere part of that kind of gelled together and the fact that we both have uh, camps up at uh, Thousand Islands. We got to be fast and uh, very good friends very quickly, sophomore year on. 
And even though we may want to say that we're all here today because of the stars and their <laughs> wedding and because supposedly I introduced them, it's really because of my parents. <laughs> my parents, thankfully, would take off for like three weeks every March. Coinc coinc uh, coincidentally, around the same time as our vacation break, and myself and Stephen and our good high school friend Alfred Thatcher would uh, bring all our stereos together over at my house, hook them all together, and we had a stereo sound that could drown out jets taking off at Bradley Field. <laughs> we had big parties in, and it was at those number of those parties where Brenda came over, Stephen was there, and everybody else was there. And I don't think Mr. Andrews knew that his daughter was taking the car that weekend to go off to this beer bash on a chaperone with no parents in the house. He didn't know about that. I knew. <laughs> well, the time goes on, and uh, people meet, people go, things happen. Uh, I just. Every once in a while, I'd meet Lana uh, at like a home show because she was getting ready to build a new house. I'd stop by and see Stephen. We kept in touch pretty regular. Recently, I started getting, about a year ago, I started getting emails from Lana. And things were happening in her marriage at that point. She was looking for a, a friendly counselor to talk to. And things went back and forth. Now, I didn't do 300 emails in a day, but I probably have my fair share. <laughs> Though my typing skills are not anywhere near as good as theirs. And one of the things that I mentioned to her was that, you know, divorce is not the end all to everything. Someday things will look better. Better times are coming. Just like my old uh, junior high school math teacher that Stephen and I had, every time he gave back a test and there was an F on it, he'd say, don't worry, Garth, better days are coming. <laughs> <laughs> so I kind of gave the same advice to Lana. And I happened to mention in my discourse that Stephen had gotten a divorce and that now, years later, he was still on good friends, good terms with his ex-wife and went up to Canada together and things like that. And that's where she found out that Stephen was now single. <laughs> and I thought to myself as I was writing that email, you know, perhaps I don't want to tell her right now that, she, that he's single because I kind of envision them in the future getting together. And I thought, I'd let it wait a reasonable amount of time, introduce them. <laughs> well, the next email I get is Garth. Lana stopped by the other day. We went out afterwards and we walked dogs. And I'm thinking, oh, geez. I'm like, I know Lena has no restraint. Well, I'm hoping Steve has a little. Uh, I do. I did. Well, the next thing I know, they're in my kitchen with my wife and Nora and I, telling us, oh, we wanted to tell you in person that we're getting married. And I just went, no restraint whatsoever. <laughs> But on a serious note, uh, I'm fantastically happy for both uh, Lena and Stephen, for them getting together and getting married, and I, I hope that their lucky stars continue to shine down upon them. Yeah. Yeah.